okusinzira ku working program je twakola wano nenge lije tambude kiraga tugena tambulira ku working program je twakolera tugena bimala mu budde As a young girl Mili Nanunu dreamed of being an architect her passion stemmed from the curiosity about the process of raising exquisite structures she wanted in then my dad had told me that i'm going to pursue a degree in bachelor's in commerce but as a young girl i've always loved the beauty of uplifting a building i wanted to know how those buildings were constructed during her internship she was encouraged to participate actively in construction and her first experience was not at all encouraging. My first experience at site was quite intimidating. It was scaring, it was overwhelming. The sunshine, the men around, the way they are looking at you. The construction and real estate sector in Uganda has witnessed significant growth in the last 30 years. Currently, its estimated value stands at 356.90 billion US dollars according to the Uganda National Bureau of Statistics. However, civil rights campaigners and experts were voiced concern about the inclusion of women in the sector. You go to site and you're not so sure about your safety. If you're not with a male you trust maybe. When it comes to money, payments it comes down to you have to prove yourself just a little bit more than the man would have to you know on site you'll go there and many of them are already under looking so they'll say ah you engineer who you and they'll be oh it's a, it's a woman this whole time and they'll look at you level you up you know stuff stuff like that some will wonder if you really know what you're telling them just because you're female while the norms and stereotypes about women remain a group in this sector came together to create a safe space for each other to break through the barriers and give themselves a fighting chance. So with that, we were like, our voice needs to be heard. We need to, to come together and look for a way of bidding for jobs. And with that, we needed a construction company. That is why we came up with Motindo Women. We have different disciplines, but mainly for girls, a girl child in construction. In Uganda, Construction is a man's domain. In light of this, one might consider the unique contributions that women who are equally qualified can bring to the field. Well, the truth is, what we bring, the men also do bring. And it would be very unfair to just say, oh, women bring this, uh, because um, the construction industry does have both of us. But again, it doesn't take away the fact that at least most of us are multitaskers. We are most likely able to pull off a number of activities at the same time. We can be very, very focused and to get things done. In this real estate and construction industry, we will put attention to detail. I know that the ladies usually put attention to detail. Over the last five years, Mutindo women have built several houses across Uganda. Brick by brick, the women are changing the construction story. From designing innovative structures to overseeing construction sites, these women are proving that strength, creativity, and leadership knows no gender. Ever since we started Mutindo Women, we were able to design a number of 20 plus buildings and we were able to construct 15 buildings of those in different parts of the country and we are able to train more girls into construction. Though Mutindo women boast with success today, the feat hasn't been without challenges. You reach a site and a person looks at you and they be like, will you be able to construct my building? Will it really stand? Forgetting it is not the manual work like energy that requires to start the building. The other challenge would be making us draft plans. We design here and there, and then they disappoint us after. Normative attitudes and stereotypes are some of the greatest barriers to women in this industry. Mm -hmm. 
of course singo mwami osoka kulooza ntitajja kubisobola na ebanga beligenda lietorola ogenda okuchira banga bwemba mukola asobola okola otoba ku site twaba ogama nti ono mukazi ono musajja okuba tabula musenyu fena tugutabula okuba somba buloka fena tuzisome kubanga kutikula chi cement era fena tutikula twetu alanti fena tuliba chikachi mtendo kutiba kusosola to make it as a master one needs a mentor men have played paramount roles in mentoring collaborating and supporting women in the industry architect zakari mukasa bonzo gave me the opportunity to train from his office so he was my mentor actually so he taught me how to design how to trick buildings here and there alterating spaces so he was like you cannot design something you don't know how to construct or you don't know the hardship they are going to go through when constructing it he gave me to an engineer called engineer Saint Francis, Francis and that with him I planned all the works outside to many the construction industry may sound as hard labor. However, there are many roles that can be played by women that all contribute to the industry. There are so many processes going on. There's procurement, there's human resource, there is the actual construction, there is um, management, there is, there is just so much. There is the law, legislation, um, there is accounting. There is just so much that actually makes up the construction industry, even the health, health and safety. All that is part of construction. Women's participation in the construction industry remains relatively low due to social norms and beliefs. Sadly, some are self-inflicted. I don't fully agree that this is something that a man has imposed. I think it is us who have hindered ourselves. Mm -hmm.